Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I pray that you guys are all doing well today. I am so excited to share what today's video is going to be about. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today. Lord God, we thank you for this opportunity to come together yet again and share some cool tips on how to stay connected with you, Lord. We just pray that you are in the midst with us all, Lord, that your angels are protecting us, that we remember to ask of your Holy Ghost to lead and guide us throughout our day. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, I'm so excited to share. Today, I'm going to be sharing some helpful tools to have in your walk with Christ to make sure you are being consistent to make sure that you are continuing to develop your relationship and you know stay connected with Jesus. And number one is going to be a holy bible. Everyone needs a bible to read and stay connected and know who we are in the kingdom. I chose the NIV version which is the new international version of a bible. It's a little bit more simplistic and like in like our vernacular, our words, how you would talk normally each day. So I like that because it's a little bit more smoother to read. Next is a journal to write prayers or if you're doing your own at home Bible study or you're just doing some reading for the day, it's always good to jot down some notes. Um, if you have any questions, if you have any thoughts that you want to share about what you're reading, it's always good to have a journal next to you just to write those things down. Or if you have, like I often write my prayers in here too. Um, if the Holy Ghost is saying something to me, it's always good to have something nearby just to write it down so that you don't forget. I'm gonna show you another journal of mine. This is from a, it's actually a combination that I got um, from this book called The Pep Talk by Terry Savelle Foy. Um, this is the gratitude journal and it says, my gratitude journal in everything give thanks. And it says grateful and it's so cute, it's handy. So whenever I'm reading or um, just any time of the day, I'm going to write something down about what I am grateful for. It says, today I am grateful for, and then it has a list from one to five. And you write as much as you feel need to write that day. So it's always good to also have some type of Christian book or maybe just a book in general just to be reading. It's always good to keep the mind stimulated and learn something new. Now I make sure I'm intentional, even like um, I said, once I finish my um, associates, I would not go without reading a book like till the next time I go back to school. Like you have to make sure you keep your mind stimulated and reading is good even um, just because or just because like you want to read. Why not read something that you enjoy reading? I also have this cute little booklet. It is called God's Opinion of You, and this is by um, Terry L. Mize. I use it as like a little devotional to read daily. Number one, to make sure you're praying daily just to, just like you want to talk to a new friend, you know? I take that type of approach whenever I'm talking to the Father. I want to talk to you daily. I want to get to know you. I want to get to know what can you offer me and what can I offer you? So it's always good to make sure you're praying daily and then that you're reading the word of God so that you know what you now have access to in this kingdom. Get those thoughts that you have in your head out because uh, I used to bottle up all of my thoughts and then I would never really share them with anybody. But now since I have God and I do have people that I am confident in, I can go and tell them and learn how to communicate a little bit better, but it's always stay prayerful. Make sure you're reading your word. Pray to the Father at any time of the day. Write down and jot down those things and have like-minded community. It's important so that you can stay not only connected with the Father, but you can stay connected with fellow believers to keep you accountable, to keep you motivated and moving forward. So these are the things that I use to keep myself grounded and rooted in the Word of God and just staying focused and not letting distractions get me off course. I pray that this was encouraging to you, that this was helpful to you. I am going to do another video just with a little bit more of a breakdown, but I just wanted to introduce um, these items to you and hopefully you like them. I will link them 
all down below where I got them from.